We are getting set for a little vacation reading in this month's Well Read segment. Best-selling author Chantel Gurton joins us now with her favorite picks. Let's start off with one Italian summer, is that? Yes, yes, that's the book. So this is the story of a woman who is supposed to take a mother-daughter trip with her mother to Italy, but her mother passes away. And so she decides to take the trip alone. While she's there, she meets this woman who is about 30 years old, but feels like it's her mother kind of reincarnated. In a younger version of her mother. Yes. Oh. So you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit. It's a bit of like magical realism, but it's also a story that deals with grief and then of course, and Love. Yeah, and love in like set in Italy, and it's it's just like a beautiful kind of like sweeping novel. Okay, so it's it's kind of a getaway if you can't get away. Exactly. Yes. yes. Okay. The Paper Palace is another one. Yes. Yeah, so this is the story of a woman who goes to her family's backwoods Cape Cod um, cabin every summer for generations, and the story starts off with while their um, spouses are inside, her long her childhood love and she go outside and have a passionate encounter. Oh. And so it's a, what do you do? Because she's married with children and this is the person that she thought she would always end up with, her childhood love. So there's a ethical dilemma there. Okay, so where does the title come in? Like, like the paper palace is like a house of cards kind of thing. Everything could come falling oh down. Oh my! Okay. I haven't even read this one yet. But <laughs> wow. I'm going really deep wow. on it. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I read a lot into titles. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what about the next title then? The Long Weekend. Okay. This is the story of three women who are going to go away on a long weekend with their husbands, but they go the night before to this cabin in England um, so they can have a girls' night and they get a message that one of their husbands is going to be murdered. They are oh. so far remote. There's no cell service. They cannot contact their husbands to warn them or anything. And so it's this idea like they're trapped. So obviously this is this is not a romance. <laughs> you might have guessed. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> Like, which one will it be? Right. <laughs> Psychological thriller, obviously, yes. and real page turner. Okay, mm -hmm. so if they're so remote, then how do they get the message that, that this is about to happen? Oh, they, or get a, they get a note. Oh, they get a note? Yes. Yeah, that would be that would be a real bad okay. <laughs> yes. plot twist. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then the unhoneymooners is is your next pick. Yes. Okay. This is a perfect beach read rom com. This is the story of um, a couple who at their wedding they everybody gets food poisoning except the maid of honor and the best man, and so because they don't eat the shrimp, and um, so they can't go. The couple can't go on their honeymoon to Maui. So the maid of honor and the best man who hate each other decide they'll take oh. the free trip. What could possibly what? go wrong? Or go right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, those are awesome picks. And now I've got to ask you, we've got a, a couple minutes left. I've got to ask you what you as an author read for fun in the summertime. Okay, so right now my stepdaughter is away at a sleepaway camp. And so before she left, I was like, let's get the same book. We'll read it while we're away from each other. And then we can have manicures and talk about the book when you get back <laughs> after you've been oh, in the woods. I love it. So, yeah, so is okay, it? so we're reading Colleen Hoover's um, November 9th, which is um, very steamy and possibly a bit inappropriate. But I <laughs> did she pick it or did you pick it? She already reads Colleen Hoover, and okay. I was like, the best thing you can do is figure out, see what they are reading. It is so good. And she wrote a note from camp saying she was almost done and couldn't wait to talk to me about it. So, and I'm a bit behind. So I was like, okay, gotta speed up. Well, so. that's that's a good icebreaker. Yeah, it, it's it's a good mom step out or talk. Yes. Then. <laughs> all right, all right. I can't wait for your next book to come out too. And of course, we'll have you on. Thank we, you. Yeah. So enjoy our, uh, our our weekly or our monthly um, visits with you here and it's so great to see you in person. Oh, this is so great to be in person. I love it. Okay, we're going to be back tomorrow with more Morning Live, but get reading The Paper Palace, The Long Weekend, One Italian Summer yes. and The Unhoneymooners.